Item number SCP-4287, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4287 is permitted one primary resting berth in the Site-48 Secondary Break Room and allowed a daily allotment of assorted pre-packaged snack foods and fresh fruits from the adjacent cafeteria. Each afternoon, SCP-4287 is to be provided with one cosmopolitan cocktail. All proper office workers and a high-end company firm should know their way around a proper mixed drink. You never know when an intern may become an agent who may need to make cocktails for the boss, date night guest, mother-in-law, girlfriend, sister, or undercover assassination target. Per my extensive research, the Cosmopolitan is the highly popular mixed drink. Full explanation in five pages of documentation available upon request. P. Pigeon Esquire Due to SCP-4287's limited voluntary mobility, it is permitted free access to any areas within Site-48 as long as it remains localized to one Foundation facility and wears a tracking device. Level 2 personnel are permitted and encouraged to pick up SCP-4287 and carry it around to assist it with desired location changes for increased efficiency. I assure you, it is the best and most logical solution given my stature and range of dexterity. P. Pigeon Esquire until SCP-4287 has provided a finalized plan for the placement of recycling bins within Site-48, it is to be allowed direct access to all recycling receptacles for proper fecal disposal. Instances of SCP-4287-1 are to be deposited in the same on-site recycling receptacles. Description SCP-4287 it's an adult male rock pigeon of average size and weight with blue-gray feathers and black banding around its backside. It refuses to or is unable to take flight. SCP-4287 clearly displays signs of sentience. Update. Sapience. Sentience is not enough for my level of intelligence and communication. Does nobody know the difference between sentient and sapient anymore. P. Pigeon Esquire As it is able to communicate verbally with Foundation personnel in fluent English, a bit interspaced with typical non-anomalous pigeon behavior, including spontaneous defecation. It speaks in a Brooklyn accent and this has been directly interviewed by Foundation personnel, at which point SCP 4287's accent will change to a vaguely British received pronunciation accent. SCP-4287 has been observed editing paper documentation by pecking vigorously at the location of errors it has identified and wishes to comment on. Said commentary manifests at the end of the corresponding content. Based on recorded interactions, SCP-4287 is highly skilled in industrial organization, office management, and clerical work consultation, and will freely offer these services to Foundation personnel, regardless of whether or not they request its services. It is also capable of spontaneously manifesting in any boardroom within Site-48, and frequently makes use of this ability to disrupt board meetings insisting on acting as a moderator for the discussion, or identifying typos and grammatical errors in presentation materials. It is noted that SCP-4287 is not capable of teleporting out of the boardrooms and must return to its previous location by walking or being carried. SCP-4287 is also capable of anonymously consume large quantities of paper and cardstock material. Its waste, correspondingly, is composed of compressed dry paper material in the shape of pellets, hereafter referred to as SCP-4287-1. Instances of SCP-4287-1 are prepared from SCP-4287's rear with sufficient force to cause immediate explosive decompression upon impact. 
SCP-4287 is perpetually first discovered in the Site-48 courtyard with a U.S. postage stamp affixed to its head. The image on the stamp featured a minimalist design of a human hand performing an obscene gesture with the caption, To you, from you. A small stick design is present on the raised third finger. Addendum SCP-4287-1 In the few excerpt following intake of SCP-4287 Interviewer Researcher C. Edwards Interviewee SCP-4287 So, uh, SCP-4287, how is it that you came to our facility? Well, little blue buddy told me that you were in need of some management and organizational assistance, so I convinced an intern to bring me into the facility under the guise of being his SCP-4287 abruptly tilts its head at a 45 degree angle and emits a single SCP-4287-1 instance, seeing eye pigeon. Which intern are you referring to? Well, one must never. SCP-4287 pops it at left to right multiple times. Out one's grrrr and port in associates, eh? It was in Tony Anson, wasn't it? SCP-4287 begins flapping its wings in a violent and threatening manner, as well as emitting multiple instances of SCP-4287-1 onto the wall behind its perch. SCP-4287 angrily shouts a normal pigeon sound. Researcher Edwards shifts slightly in her seat, exhibiting signs of minor discomfort. Addendum SCP-4287-2 Partial List of Site-Wide Policy Changes Involving SCP-4287 Allocation of at least 10 Level 1 interns to provide specialized transportation assistance for P. Pigeon Esquire throughout designated areas of Site-48. P. Pigeon Esquire Accepted Immediate relocation of pigeon-friendly foodstuffs from cafeteria A3 to the adjacent secondary break room. Routine reminders to Foundation personnel making use of aforementioned areas that they are not to consume items that do not belong to them and they have no claim to. P. Pigeon Esquire Request denied. Your request involves the purchase and installation of a new refrigeration unit which is not cost-effective. However, we will place a sign directing people away from your food. Dr. Erickson, Site Director. Per touch brief regarding observed wrong patterns within Site 48, recommending that the water dispenser in the second floor back area corridor to be relocated to an area of greater employee traffic. P. Pigeon Esquire. Accepted. Due to the increase of paper material present in Recycling Area 1, requisition of 10NG star compliant low NG 12 watt LED bulbs will be installed to alleviate the potential fire risk. A cost analysis has been performed and it is concluded that this investment will also reduce the overall energy cost of Site 48 by several hundred dollars per month. Please find Site Cost Analysis Document Attached P. Pigeon Esquire Professional Acceptance Subject to revision following fiscal department processing of 20-page cost analysis document I hereby admit this requisition for three mobile recycling receptacles to increase efficiency of SCP-4287-1 disposal The current location of the non-mobile recycling being receptacles is highly inconvenient for the interns. P. Pigeon Esquire Request denied. Your request involves the purchase of recycling receptacles which we do not have sufficient space for. Additionally, it would not be cost effective. Dr. Erickson, Site Director I hereby submit this rebuttal. With out mobile recycling receptacles, there will be increased emission of SCP-4287-1 and increasingly inconvenient locations. P. Pigeon Esquire. Personal response. 
Listen, that's what the interns are for. Uh, but I'll do you a favor, Max. Official response. Your rebuttal has been accepted and considered. And after deliberation, the board of directors has determined that it is not enough to sway our initial decision. We are prepared, however, to purchase one small mobile recycling receptacle. Dr. Erickson, Site Director.